guys, I just received my first ever Skelector doll, Miss Greta. Oh my goodness, let's unbox her. So yes, I was able to get Miss Greta. I ordered her literally at 10.01, so it took me like a minute to order this doll. Absolutely love this Skelector. I'm not really a fan of like the Pennywise or anything, or the Beetlejuice. I don't really like those dolls, and this one just really spoke to me. I don't know, something about this doll I just really liked. Maybe because she kind of looked like an actual Monster High doll. And a lot of other people say that too. Oh my gosh! Okay. Ooh! I'm super excited! Let's begin! Okay, I really don't want to ruin this, but also, like, who cares? <laughs> ah, I'm super excited. Oh, my goodness. Oh my gosh, I'm literally, like, shaking right now because... This box is like perfect. <laughs> there is a little bit of damage. Whatever, it does, who cares? Whatever, it's fine. Okay. Ah, oh my God. Wow, this one looks beautiful. Oh, sorry, you can't even see her, oh my God. Look how gorgeous she looks. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, I can't believe that I got her. On the front of the box, it just says Gremlins 2, the new batch, and it has this gorgeous photograph of her. And on the corner, it says, from the makers of Monster High. And on the corner, it just says, and she's on one side and the back. How about a smooch? Don't be shocked by my outrageous glum hair and freaky fab fashion. Gizmo and I are about the ghoulest pair you'll ever meet. Sure, I used to be a basic Gremlin, but after sipping the splice of life, lab secret potion, hello? glow up now i am drop dead gorgeous especially when i reach into my killer purse swipe on some fierce red lipstick and pucker up for a big kiss so what i say let's cut to the chase grab gizmo and run out of here before the lab explodes then we'll live happily ever after until the do us part and it has a bunch of kisses on it and of course it says the makers of monster high on the other side it says gremlins 2 the new batch now on the sides there's many flash speakers test tubes obviously she's in a lab and also on the back of her she has this mirror you can see my breath i've actually never seen the gremlins but i did some research before making this video gremlins don't have a gender greta was a normal gremlin until she broke into dr catheter's splice of life lab she stole and drank a formula that's a female serum making her appearance more feminine than the other gremlins and all gremlins don't look the same their looks and colors may vary ranging between various shades and combinations of green brown and black she has scaly reptile-like skin, her complexion is like a neon green, and she has yellow fading that's on half of her face and ears, which does fade down to her torso. She has large bat-like ears that have two hooped earrings. Looks like she has some purple waves on them as well. She has grayish purple eyeshadow with a green eye crease and a lighter green on her lid. These are a piercing dark green with a bit of yellow and of course, they're reptilian-like. Now her eyebrows are like textured. They are green dots, or what should I say? Scales? I don't know, but she she also has these bumps on her cheeks, kind of like where your highlighter goes, and she also has them on her jawline, but the ones on her jawline are not painted. She has a beauty mark above her lip. She has bright cherry lips, and obviously she has fangs. She has beautiful poison ivy green type of color as her hair. It's very long and curly, has much volume, which I absolutely love. It has this flower clip very plain to me. I don't believe this was reused. Greta has this red leather jacket that has three sides on both sides, and of course, there's a feather collar. She has this cheetah print dress and also on her dress she has some skullets on them that has purple and pinkish tint to it the bottom is shredded which is giving me freak to chic vibes she has this black belt which was used in many different venus mcfly trap dolls music festival goes night out etc she has three sharp claws these are a brand new mold which i'm digging so fun fact gremlins have three sharp claws on their hands and their feet but greta has normal feet now the purse is reused but not from monster high from 
what I've heard, the molding was from a Barbie. I don't really mind that, but the purse is extremely boring. Still cute, but doesn't really wow me. She has this teeny tiny lipstick. Super cute. I have nothing much to say about it. It's cute. Reds her color. On her thighs, she has these two purple marks. And on her shins, there's two diamond-shaped yellow marks. Greta's shoes, they have mini vines, spikes, and one red painted flower on one side of them. Now, I do want to talk about her body because a lot of people were having a confusion. Does she have a Gorgon body or is it Jennifer's? Her head is a completely new sculpt. It isn't Venus face attached to ears. It's completely new. Her body, on the other hand, it is Jennifer's. Now, this is Gizmo. He's super cute. He has a mixture of lighter browns and white. Now, we're getting to the end of this video and before I end anything, I do want to talk about what I would have liked to see with this doll. I feel like they should have at least added a beaker where she drank the potion from so we know more of an understanding of the character itself because that's like the main thing about her. That's the reason why she's like this. I would have really liked to see Gizmo being flogged. I feel like that would have looked way better and suit him so much more if he had that. Flocking is what Venus McFlytrap has or most Claude Wolf dolls. It could have added more dimension in a way if he had flocking rather than just boring paint. This isn't a complaint but from what I've seen in pictures in the movie it would have been nice if she had a hot pink scarf boa or maybe instead of making the jacket red it should have been hot pink. Okay guys a few years ago they released this collector Scalita Calaveras so that Scalita had the most incredible stand ever. She came with a certain stand that had these designs with skull leads. It just wasn't a plain stand and I really wish they would try that out again especially with the collector dolls or at least make the stands colored or something like black is just boring. Now my biggest complaint with this doll is the lack of painting details. Like for a $70 doll at least paint some leaves on it or give us some life or something. Even the shoes, the only thing they painted was the flower. I would have liked the shoes to be like a metallic green and would have looked amazing with this doll, especially with her shoes. The shoes have so much potential. That's what I'm really bummed about is that I feel like this doll was just rushed. To me, the Pennywise and the Twins dolls were the only Skelector dolls with the most details, talking about current ones. Now with the Beetlejuice dolls, we don't talk about those ones. I do not like those ones. Greta, I see the Monster High originality in her. That's why I love her. I feel like the more dolls that come out, they're just doing it to get fast money, not really thinking for their fans. Now, what I do love about her is, like I said, she gives me that originality Monster High doll vibe. Like, she belongs there. The other dolls, not so much. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, she would have definitely attended Monster High. She would probably be besties with Amanita, Venus, maybe Batsy. She just gives me that vibe. I do hope in the future they'll start adding more details and really just listen to fans. But so far, I'm digging this doll. I love the box, love the artwork, loving the new head sculpting. They're doing amazing with that. But like I said, lack of painting details and just feel like something's missing with this doll. Me and a lot of other people say she just looks like an ordinary Playline doll. She's beautiful, of course, but this is typical Monster High quality. Nothing too fancy. Anyways, guys, these were just my opinions, so please be respectful in the comments. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know your opinions on this Greta Kremlin. How do you feel about her? Were you able to get her? Let me know down below. Anyways, please like and subscribe. Bye!